morning guys, Austin back with another video. And today, I am running my very first half marathon. Now I have no idea why in the previous uh, training vlogs I was doing, I never mentioned that I'd signed up for one, but I did. And I had about, you know, three and a half weeks or so to really train specifically for that. So I've been up in my running distances a little bit, playing around with my running form, like I had talked about before, and I'm ready to bring it. Now how ready? Not exactly sure, but I know a couple things. One, that I'm gonna finish. Like there's no way I'm just gonna quit, I'm gonna get it done. And back in rowing, there was always a saying called oats move boats. Well, hopefully oats move legs too. It's supposed to be an awesome day for running today. The weather is gonna be in the mid 50s, low 60s during my run, which starts in about two hours or so. And I think the everything is primed and ready for me to perform at my best to really kind of see where I'm at right now after just a few weeks, a couple months of experience with running. Now I'm going in with an ambitious goal of an hour and 45 minutes. Most of my training runs where I've been able to hold sort of a steady state pace, I've been able to hold an eight minute mile pace. Pretty, it feels pretty good to do that. And so my longest run that I've done though was only nine miles. So I have to add an extra four to that or so, 4.1. But I think I can do it as far as giving a maximal everything I got effort. That's going to be my goal. But it's, boy, it, it kind of feels ambitious, but we'll see. So that's my goal. I'm going to stick to it and see how, see what happens. If you're curious about the oatmeal I'm eating, this is this is one cup of oats with two cups of water, uh, two bananas, and about eight or nine dates, medjool dates, cinnamon, and then a serving of walnuts. Lots of high carb, high energy foods in here to fill you up and energize you and get you ready for any sort of athletic event. I'm curious for those of you out there that compete in any sort of athletic race or event, what do you eat for breakfast before your big race? I've always kind of gone with oats, but you might have something else you do. Let me know down in the comments below. I ended up exchanging my old pair of running shoes from that video I did where I was running on the treadmill to um, a new pair, Diodoras, that have a lot more support here in the heel. So these are what I've been using for the last couple weeks and I think they've been helping a lot. So I'm gonna run with these today. Do you like the colors? I think they're pretty cool. And we'll see how it goes. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I'm a big fan of goofy socks. So right now I've got my training socks ready to go, but these aren't very goofy. And so putting these on top of them, and yeah, those are taco socks. And that's definitely not meat. That's definitely beans. All right guys, so I've got my coffee for the road and my water pre-race water, hydrating up, getting ready to bring it, and I'm about to head out the door. So I will see you at the race course. So I decided to park a little bit away from the race course, about .4 miles or so away, just to get in a nice walking warm up beforehand and not have to deal with all of the parking. This is the American River Parkway half marathon that I'm doing, and it's a beautiful morning, and I am really excited for this. My first half marathon. Here's the game plan. Here's my game plan at least. I think I'm going to approach this very similar to how I approached my rowing races where I always feel that it's best to finish strong. So I'm gonna break it up into five mile, five mile, three mile. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to start the first five miles a little bit slower than I want my average pace to be. And then by mile five, we'll judge how it feels and then Moving into the next five miles, try to pick it up closer to that average pace. And then for the last three miles, finish strong. That's the plan. Let's get after it. All right, race time. Alright, been done for about 45 minutes and still feeling really nauseous and 
tired, but good. It happened, it's done. And look, got this huge medal that spins. Bingo. So we'll, uh, we'll chit chat about the race in a little while. Right now it's time to try not to fall over. Man, guys, that was such a fun experience. But man, was I sore for straight up days. You know, that running quad soreness, that, the ankles, my Achilles was super inflamed for a few days. And so, yeah, I took like two days off of just chilling out and relaxation to let my body recover. This goes out to anyone who's ever done really any race ever, because man, showing up on race day to perform for your best, that takes a lot of courage, it really does. And this whole half marathon experience was so humbling. It was so great to see so many people from so many different walks of life and athletic backgrounds all come together to give their best for a really, really tough distance. I think one of the coolest moments for me was at the very end. You can actually kind of see it in that clip of me running by. It was at the very, very end of the race where I caught up to this older woman. She was probably, she was probably at least 60 something. And to see her out there kicking butt, I felt kind of bad sprinting through her at the very end. But the fact that she was out there, you know, cruising ahead of most people, a perfect example of someone who's living by understanding that age is just a number. Now I know that never, that never really means anything coming from a 24 year old, but she was a great example of someone who was just letting age be a number and not letting that define her. Basically, I wanna be like her when I grow up. Now I wanna take this time to talk about my number one tip for anyone who's thinking about or is going to be doing in the future their first half marathon. Something that I really regret that I did and that you should be aware of before you go into your first race. Now was it not getting enough sleep? No, it wasn't that. Was it not drinking enough water beforehand? No. Was it not going pee right before the race? Almost. I made it just in time. But yes, go pee before the race. No, guys, the real, the tip that I have for you is to not doubt your fitness. Because I went in with my goal of getting an eight minute per mile average throughout the race. And I talked about it before I broke the race down, five miles, five miles, three miles. And that first five miles, I wanted to take slower than my average that I wanted it to be overall. But my average after that fifth mile mark was around an 820 pace. It might have even been like 825. And it was in the middle of like the first two, three miles, I was like, there's no way I can hold an eight minute mile pace for the full 13. Like this is gonna take way too long. You know, I should have done longer runs to kind of prep for this a little bit more. I just totally, doubted my capabilities. And it wasn't until I got about the halfway point where I realized, wait a second, that's halfway. I'm feeling pretty good right now. And it was then around mile seven where I was like, okay, you know what, let's just try to pick up the pace. Let's just see what we can do. And all of a sudden I was close to that eight minute per mile pace and I was like, this is feeling very doable. The miles are taken down. So I brought up my pace a little bit more and then I ran the last few miles at around like a 740 pace, way below my average that I wanted to complete. And after about mile 10 with three left, you know, now it was just a game of trying to bring down that total average. And so every, you know, quarter mile I looked down at my watch and the overall average would go from, you know, 819 to 818 to 817 to 816. It was ticking down and by the end, the last mile was by far my fastest, was feeling awesome and was just trying to run down that average as best I could. Finished through and I got an 8.06 average according to their race results. Now my watch told me I went 8.02 average, so that's a little frustrating. But here are my results, I'll post them right here, my placings. Um, overall very happy with the performance. I just wish I wouldn't have doubted my fitness. When you're going into a race, whether it be a half marathon or a 5K or a rowing race or whatever sort of athletic event you wanna do, don't doubt your fitness. Trust in your fitness. Think of all the hard work and the energy you put into 
getting ready to perform at a race, don't just show up at the race and think, ah, I'm not good enough, there's no way. I try to tell my clients this all the time and yet here I was a victim of this. And so I just wanna take this opportunity to tell you that you need to trust your fitness. Trust in the hard work you put in. You do that and you're going to surprise yourself. And you know what, if you can't hold your goal pace, then you slow down, bummer. Oh well, there's lots of life to live, guys. Lots of races to be had, trial and error. You know, we grow through failure, so it's important to trust the fitness, hope things that go well, and if they don't, then we adjust and we learn and we adapt for next time. All right, so don't be like me. Don't doubt yourself at the start of a race. Attack it head on, give your best effort, and understand that the hard work and training you put in will pay off for you. It really will, just trust yourself. You know, a lot of people after their first half marathon say, all right, that was good enough, never doing one again. I'm actually seeking vengeance, seeking vengeance on my time. I really wanna shoot for that under hour 45 minute time. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna do another half marathon, but hopefully within the next year, and we'll see how it goes. I think I wanna try a shorter race soon-ish, maybe a 5K race, just to see what those, you know, how I can perform at a short distance race, we'll see. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Thank you guys for making it. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. Thanks for taking time out of your day to follow me in this journey of fitness. And hopefully I might have inspired one of you to sign up for a race yourself. Just be sure to trust in your fitness. Thanks again for watching. As always, guys, be sure to leave a comment down below if you liked the video or if you want to you know, suggest something that you'd like to see a video from me, just let me know. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.